Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I will show you how you can use Miro, Miro.com to actually make your workspace better, more compact and how can you work in Miro with your uh, employees for example or share the boards between them. Uh, first of all we have to create ourselves an account at Miro.com or log into our existing account. Once we're in here this is our workspace where we can or we will work. We can go to the top right corner straight away and as you can see there are settings that we can uh, work with. For example email address, passwords and so on. Notifications, how much you want to be like disturbed. Summary of changes, let's not do that project activity, you want to see if someone added you to a project or when invites sign up. Other email updates, yeah, we don't want that. Or you can just unsubscribe from all of the above. Integrations, we can straight away go with the integration with, for example, uh, Facebook or OneDrive, Dropbox. Slack, but we can also make integration work through, uh, for example, Zapier.com and so on. There is also a possible way of integrations, but let's go back to the mirror and create a board. As you can see, we can go with a new board and we can share a new board. There are all templates that we can pick from. There are recent, for example, I used that before. Popular, Microverse, which is basically what the other users made. There are some pretty, pretty good ones. Also building blocks, the most basic way in Miro. And uh, there are some columns with uh, meeting workshops, brainstorming, agile, mapping and diagramming. Those are my most favorite ones because basically they are blocks. But let's go with Miro concept map. We're going to use that. As you can see, uh, we can zoom in or zoom out. We can write in them, we can move them. Uh, but let's go from the left to right. We have Miro boards. Let's go back uh, to this one. It's untitled. We can export this board, for example, as an image, as PDF, template, on so on and so on. We can click on save an image. Save as image. Small, medium. Let's go with export. And here it is, as you can see, the new JPEG of our, of our map. Now we can hide or show uh, collaborators cursor. We can put a reaction there. If uh, there's not something not clear to you, you can raise hand. So if you are an employee, you can ask uh, questions, for example. You can lower your hand or you can send and uh, for example if you like it or it's on fire or this one whatever it is confetti now bring every, everyone to me so you can basically drag uh, your employees across the mirror to actually watch your presentation let's call it presentation or your board sorry Next one is share button. Give your board a title. Let's go with tutorial. Go with save. Uh, we can either invite from Slack or Gmail or enter emails. Uh, invite link. Uh, invite link to board and team can uh, can view only. 
Steam access to board can, uh, yeah, let's go with view as well. And if we want to get that link, we just press copy and um, all your employees will, who will get that link, they will actually have those rights like can view or they can even edit uh, this board. Now we have, uh, we have settings in here. We can go, for example, with the shortcuts and find out about the shortcuts in uh, Miro. Also, snap objects, show grid, or you don't have to, as you can see. Uh, get the start view or apps and integrations. If you click there, you can actually make some pretty fast integrations with Asana, Slack, and so on and so on. Very useful one. There's guide, but we don't need it right now. Unread uh, notifications, search, and note. You can always put note if you feel like it. Right now, let's go to the left part. As you can see, we can select uh, the cursor and we can slide this double click to type, which is the most easiest way to write something in there. You can change the font, switch type, for example, like this and type something. Or we can start the new template or start with the text. Like this. What you can actually do here. You can make it bigger, make it shorter like that there's a font you can make it uh, font size bigger or smaller change the font size so on and so on you can twist it a bit or 360 completely add lists alignments and so on and so on now we can use a sticky notes. That's one way how we can make the note, for example, like this. If you want to add more sticky notes, just press Ctrl uh, C and Ctrl U and you can add more of them. But let's for example, get rid of them. And if we want to get more nodes, we can go with bulk mode. For example, first one, second, third, fourth. And when you hit done, as you can see, you have, you have four nodes straight away. You can use them, put them diagonally and so on and so on. And we can move them as well. Then we have shapes. We can put them, uh, for example, columns like this. Also font. You can either invite, insert a link into those shapes. So when you decide to actually click into it, uh, you will get redirected to your, uh, to your website. Or to the link connection lines we can connect it with this one for example like that you can go with multiple connection lines like this now we have pen i don't think that i have to highlight this more because it's like uh it's like in paint if you want to Scratch something in, comment, add a comment, very nice, go with green, like 
this pin or unpin or delete. Do it node. Then uh, we have frames. When we want to use a frame, like a custom one, as you can see straight away, we have a frame, we can uh, lock it or unlock it. Yeah, that, that wasn't a very nice one. So let's go with a new frame. We can go with A4. And this frame will behave like A4 document. We don't need this one, but for example, if we want to if we want to move and uh, for example this one in it or all of them like this. Ooh, that's too big. But as you can see, you can also upload from my device. For example, for example, the JPEG and pick it into A4. As you can see, you can do a lot of stuff in Miro. You can go into presentation mode, add a comments and solve them. So that's pretty basic how you can work in uh, in uh, Miro. So if you have more questions, put them below the videos. I'll try to answer them. And thanks for watching and see you on the next video.